expression is my name. I'm so excited to come your way today. Okay, so if you look around the world today, one of the biggest things that you begin to find is distrust. Okay, we hear people say things like there are no loyal people anymore, right? Uh, people are no longer loyal, right? And a lot of people begin to complain and you know and and show so much uh, dissatisfaction and fear. Okay, because you say, well, this guy, if you put him through or you show him or you have him in the team, he could just betray you when you need him most. He could just go out. So people have started, you know, employing measures, right? Um, uh, maybe rules, maybe structures, you know, uh, to bind people to say, okay, if I give you this job, you must work 10 years before you get out or even in the church. And the big part is you even find this in the church. That's the big one today. Right, uh, because the truth is, I'll tell you, it, it's a two sided thing, okay. Um, the followers or those who are subordinate uh, are not trustworthy. What about the superiors? What about the leaders? Are they also trustworthy themselves? Have you shown transparency? Have you shown genuineness? You know, have you expressed, um, you know, empathy? Do you really love people? Okay, or you just want to use people? Uh, have you drawn a system of transparency, a system that is trustworthy? Okay, have you drawn a system where people feel inclusiveness? Okay, they feel a part of the, the vision, they feel a part of the system. You know, have you talked about not just even earning salary, but having people to become uh, shareholders? I was talking to someone. Um, overseas and we're discussing and she said she had some shares she wanted to sell so i said how how come she said well in our company not just that you end salaries you begin to also end points and become shareholders i said did you buy that share she said no i didn't buy it you know the company just gives it to us so as we make progress they begin to you know they begin to increase our share we can sell it we can put it back and invest in the organization and all that i was like wow you see, but we really don't have this in Africa. People just come in a place, they just pay you peanuts, whether the turnover is high, huge or not, it doesn't matter, right? Rather, when things begin to go down, that's when they begin to threaten you and say, we're going to slash your salary and all that. There are no bonus scheme and all that process. Even in the church today, a lot of pastors will say, we don't have loyal followers anymore. I agree, but we also have loyal uh, uh, leaders, loyal pastors, loyal general overseer, loyal senior executives. Do we also have the same today? Okay. When you, for example, when you put yourself and only your family at the top of the board, you know, enjoying the best of privilege, and these are the guys who have been laboring with you for a long time, how do you think they're going to be feeling? Yeah, even if the devil is suggesting to them or their parents or family members are suggesting to them, do you think you will not be penetrating them because you have expressed selfishness yourself? Think about it, right? Some of them have been laboring even before your, your spouse showed up or your children were born. But look at the benefits they enjoy and look at the sufferings they're going through as well. So we must learn to earn trust. Very important. We must learn to earn loyalty. Very important by being nice, by being kind, by doing the right things, okay, being transparent, you know, having that inclusiveness, you know, and then you'll be sure to have the right people. But let's also say this. Right, that you do the right thing does not mean others will do the right thing. But if you do the right thing, it will give room for the right people to be attracted. It will give room for the right people to do the right thing. Who wants to do the right thing? To do the right thing. The bottom line is true. Satan is hardening the world in wickedness. It has always been a structure from time immemorial. But I believe, because the scripture tells us, if we truly are learning Christ well, then our character is working towards godliness. And godliness is not selfishness, it is selflessness. The one who is growing in grace is the one who begins to find himself selfless. The one who begins to find himself preferring others that he prefers himself, according to the scriptures. Hallelujah. So it's important that you earn trust, that you become you know, loyal to a system, right? Because the truth is this, loyalty is one of the great key in partnership, in a relationship, right? Or in any partnership to having greatness. That's the truth. So what the company system have now done is they bring in policies to compel loyalty. And that now means hypocrisy. Because once those staffs, subordinate, make a lot of money, enough for themselves, they'll quit the organization and then they'll go do their own thing, right? But the truth is, in a godly structure, we can have loyal people. We can have people who can be trust reliable. You know, I read in the Bible, I never saw any time where Timothy began to compete with Paul, where Timothy began to say things like, I think I've served enough. I should start off, you know, as my own brand. Why must I continue to take instructions from Paul? We never find anything like that. 
Paul was always proud of Timothy. He called him a faithful son because Timothy was loyal to the call. Glory to God, somebody. Everywhere Paul sent him, he, he would go. When he sent him to uh, Corinth, he went there. When he sent him to Philippi, he went there. Everywhere Paul would send Timothy, he would just go. He was just loyal. And Paul himself, too, was loyal to Timothy. He was always there for Timothy. When Timothy had a stomach uh, issue, he expressed great concern you know, up to, to the point where he says, okay, I take a little wine for that stomach uh, and trouble and all that. So we must learn to build a system of trust trust. We must learn to be trustworthy ourselves, okay, because that's the best way we can truly interact with ourselves without a sense of fear. Glory to God, somebody. Lastly, as I conclude, that people have broken your trust does not mean that there are no trustworthy people in the world. It's very important that you understand that. That people have failed you does not mean that uh, everyone will just fail. Listen to me and listen very well, okay? There are still good people in the world. Even if there is none, you be that one. Because the Bible says we'll be created in Christ unto good works. We're supposed to dispense goodness as believers. Okay, so they're good people and believe in it and they should believe in it. And then we must begin to raise the same kind so we can have a great work going. Listen to me and listen well. You can never be massive until you are trustworthy and loyal people. Trust me to that. You can never be massive. And for all those who have been massive, right, without having genuinely loyal people who have induced it or, uh, you know, placed a structure to which people are compared to be that, they are raising hypocrites, right? That's the truth. I'm telling you the truth. They are raising hypocrites. Even though this structure is becoming massive, they are not raising people who are getting perfected in Christ, who are, you know, genuine in heart. Glory to God. Okay, so trust is possible. Loyalty is possible. We can always earn it. We can also give it, right? Very important. Thank you and God bless you.